Welcome back everybody 615 now on this Tuesday evening. I was losing track which day it was in that tease before the commercial break. But yes, uh, Tuesday and we have had a good deal of sunshine today. Made it to 90 degrees. Perhaps it was 91. I have to look at that uh, climatology report from the National Weather Service, but certainly did get to 90. That's important because, uh, yeah, we haven't hit 90 through July and August. Shocking to think that we haven't, but uh, when we hit 90 today, we had a heat index, peak heat index of about 101, 102 in GR. So coupled with high, very high humidity and get used to that because it's sticking around. It looks like here through the upcoming weekend and notice uh, a couple different patches of clouds of uh, real, you know, substance off to the north and northeast of GR, especially and then across Lake Michigan into uh, southern Wisconsin and northern Illinois. There are additional thunderstorms in that vicinity, and those are the ones we'll have to watch for uh, mid to late evening and overnight tonight. So this first batch has come across sections around I-96 and northward with some gustier winds. And in fact, there is a severe thunderstorm warning for Montcalm County down into Ionia County at this point, and they are outlining for winds perhaps as high as 60 miles per hour. I've got to tell you, with these uh, warnings as they have crossed uh, north of Grand Rapids here in recent times, I have seen no official wind gusts that uh, have gotten to that severe limit uh, you know, when you cross uh, 58 miles per hour, when you get to 58 miles per hour and higher, that is the criteria, the criterion for uh, a severe thunderstorm warning. Have not seen that officially, but nonetheless, a severe thunderstorm warning for Montcalm County down into Ionia County until 730. I think it will be exiting well before 730, but you get the idea. Some gustier winds, very heavy rainfall, and a lot of lightning. So much lightning that you can't even see the radar return. So I'll take the lightning off, and you will notice that, uh, yeah, we're picking up on those orange and red colors displaying where the heaviest rainfall is in this trailing area that is uh, across southern Wisconsin and another batch that's kind of plowing into northwestern Illinois at this point that has been associated with a lot of severe thunderstorm warnings. It seems like the trajectory of those storms likely going to be well south of Grand Rapids, but could clip, say, Berrien, Cass counties later tonight, and then some of that front running moisture over southern Wisconsin right now. We'll have to watch that for maybe sections south of I-96 through the mid and late evening. Severe thunderstorm warnings. There they are. Montcalm County down into northern Ionia County until 730 for some of these stronger wind gusts, which again, I have not seen anything higher than about 45 to 48 or 49 miles per hour with those storms in recent times. This thunderstorm chance tonight into the overnight and then a lot of tomorrow I think shakes out on the rain freeze side, but with all this heat and humidity in place, I had mentioned yesterday on these weather cast that uh, the models really hard to get a handle on and they continue to be it appears through the next several days so kind of just stay tuned as you know you wake up in the morning watch the latest forecast these are not going to be all day rain outs as I was talking about yesterday but there will be uh, likely some surprises as we go forward because we've got a lot of warm fronts cold fronts wind shift lines that could spark some thunderstorms in the days ahead readings running well into the 80s it looks like through Saturday and Sunday high humidity and then it comes down a bit for Monday and Tuesday perhaps though it does warm up through the middle and latter parts of next week. A lot of warm air, especially from Grand Rapids and south to the Gulf Coast. Look at this. Yes, the heat index values today got above 100 in GR. They never got that high uh, in the Big Rapids and Fremont. So all the heat really has come up to about I-96, a little bit further northward and then south from there. And it will be returning tomorrow as well. Winds have gotten breezier as some of those storms have passed by, especially north of GR in recent uh, uh, minutes and hours here. I say hours. I mean, about uh, two, three hours ago, we approached the Oceana Muskegon County line with some of these thunderstorms and working across now with that warning in Ionia and Montcalm County dew points. Yeah, they're almost off the charts here the next few days, and they were today. We had a peak uh, dew point of 76 in Grand Rapids. How about that? Now take a look at this HRRR model. High resolution goes out the next 12 hours, and it does show you that there will be these pop-up just uh, showers and thunderstorms into the overnight. So will you get a thunderstorm where you do reside in West Michigan? It's possible, but it's possible you won't either. Severe weather, not a huge concern, I don't think, tonight. But there could be a gustier storm. I'll keep tabs on it. Seven-day forecast. Really no big changes from yesterday. Hit and miss storms through the weekend. A little bit drier early next week. Some heat and some hail. Pretty West Michigan weather <laughs> A little there. bit of everything, man. Thanks, Ed.